For so many of us in the ministry community, it's a little bit of a sobering time. Even this idea of healthy leadership or unhealthy leadership and how does that impact the levels of trust that folks have in, in the church, in ministry? You can motivate people by, by fear or guilt or by, by financial, you know, hey, you know, if you just burn the candle both ends, you'll make tons of money, right? You can squeeze those things out of people for a while. But in the long run, in the long run, the fruit of that is going to be bitter fruit. And they don't care how many million downloads my podcast has. They don't care how many copies of my book I sold. They don't care what my last quarter was. What my kids care about is, did he have time for me? Was he kind to me? Was he fully present? The 42%, as high as 42%, is now 39% of pastors who say that they have given serious consideration to quitting. And I think that tells us something about the challenges of being a spiritual frontline worker, about the kind of exhaustion that is set in for a lot of leaders. What is unhealth? Unhealth is something that is good and pushed to the extreme because it's not in tension with other pieces. You can pursue a good thing in the wrong way, or you can pursue a good thing while ignoring 10 other good things. Rest in many ways gives meaning to our work. We can savor the fruits of our work. We can become re-energized for our work. And then our work actually gives meaning to our rest because without work, our rest would actually become laziness, purposelessness. Rest wouldn't be anything if we didn't also have work. In one survey, we asked the board, how you doing on soul care for your leader? And they said, great. And then we asked that same question to the same leader in that same organization or church. So how's the board doing on soul care for you? And the answer is not so well. So I want pastors to just embrace all that they've done. Maybe they can put themselves in a place where they can receive the grace of others. You know, of course, it's spiritual as well. They are on the front lines. Without a plan, um, burnout is almost naturally expected. Um, the approach has not been, hey, we're, you know, just pointing our fingers at what's wrong with leaders or even kind of bemoaning, you know, the number of failures or things that have happened. But it's really to kind of get to unpacking, let's understand sometimes why this can be the case, you know, what can contribute and, and also what can we put in place in order to help encourage healthy leadership. So subscribe today wherever you get your podcasts. Subscribe and watch each episode on YouTube. Also, all those subscription links and the episodes will be on ecfa.org slash podcast. That's ecfa.org slash podcast.